Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Battletech Advance 3062 where today we get to finish off the Hourglass campaign, well Hourglass Flashpoint, but it's not the finishing of, finish of the actual campaign, there's more to go after this. We do get a rare mech out of this, so let's jump into this and see what we can get. And I think I might drop the monster lamb. I don't like it. It's not good enough. Um, Zeus. I might drop in with the Zeus instead. Who is the Zeus's pilot? Um, I can't remember. It's one of these guys. Flatline? Nope. Floppy? Nope. Glitch? It is glitch. Yes, let's go for glitch. And 335 tons doesn't seem all that much, if I'm honest. But we do have some pretty good equipment in all of the mechs that we are running. So let's do this. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. But let's see what we get at the end of this. Hopefully, in this mission, because it's assault mechs we're facing, it will be some good quality assault mechs and we get six salvage again so we will be able to use that salvage wisely and nicely to get some assault mechs hopefully of which i'm kind of hoping there is is it the goliath i want i want to say the goliath is the 80 ton quad mech if we get that out of this that will be amazing but chances are we won't unfortunately we just won't Command interface uh, initiated. So this battle. Okay, that's defend base. I like this one. I, I know this one quite like well. There's creatures living beneath the surface. Let's go over Position here. Confirmed. Gladiator, Centurion. Should have waited actually, because they've got eight. Invasion. Whoopsie. You know what? We'll just brace. Yes, we are going against the uh, Black Widows. Holding for the right opportunity. They're going to hold as well. Then they get to go. So the Gladiator is a 55 tonner. Nothing spectacular there. Oh, you're a primitive build with rocket launchers. I don't know what you are just yet. Waiting on you, I'm Commander. Glitch to go next, if I'm honest. I want to see what your MRMs can do. That is a lot of evasion as well. Fine. Hey, one ballistic hit. And not much else, but he did get tagged. That's a Centurion. Is that running a sniper artillery? Systems holding. LBX. Okay. Receiving you. And yeah, go there. Aye, aye. We're gonna go for this guy with just guided ammo, I'd say. Aye, aye. Hopefully, destabilizes him. Not really. Did some damage though. Lots of ones. You don't do anything good. Your spaniel. Right. Heading out. Full speed. Let's see what we can do. I think I might actually just sensor log you. Yeah. Let's just sensor log you. Got a lock. We, um... Oh, there's another mech. There is. It's a bushwhacker. Nice. They do have initiative over us, which is kind of pointless me sensor locking him, but he's behind cover now, so it's all good. They will get to all go well, no, they don't all go first. Standing by. That's fine by me. We're gonna go there. I don't wanna take you out. You haven't got any evasion, really. Double miss! Damn it! 
that would have been amazing if we'd have hit with at least one of them, because it would have done a good chunk of damage. I'm here. Well, you're going to try to scramble him so he can't oh, fire wow. very well. And set him on fire a little bit. Yep, that works. They're still being Ready for invasive. Orders. Or whatever you want to call it. Confirmed. And go there. I'm going to go... Suppressant and Inferno with some Battle Lord. Doesn't do that much more damage, it's just the accuracy I want. Oh. I want to make it so that if he does fire, he shuts down. That didn't do any heat damage to him, but. Mostly missed. A lot of it hits. I'm under heavy fire. But we're okay, and yeah, he got a little I bit hot ya. out of that. Ooh, go there, and that's a side attack. Ah, the ultra uh -huh. jam. Annoying. Fine. Still gonna do a good chunk of damage. And we tagged him as well. And our ultra run jammed. Good. And so we've got to hold out for nine turns. And we've got eight buildings, four must survive. I think we're going to be relatively okay. Except for the fact the reinforcement's going to come down in a few turns. So far, we haven't really made a scratch on any of these guys. Yikes! That hit hard! Are you going to overheat? Probably not. No, you're cooling down, in fact. Right, hopefully this turn we take at least one of these guys down. I'm looking for two, though. Because we should be able to. How's it going? That's a good hit chance. We're going to go precision strike on this guy. And I think I might go for the side torso. Or do we just go center torso? We might go, might just go center torso. Yes. Let's get fired up. There's work to do. That's a kill. Easy. One down. One for one. It Must should be. Eliminated. It won't be. It won't be. It would be nice Waiting to. Orders. We'll go there. That's a good place to set this Not guy up for hot and stupid. Hit heat. There we go. We're getting a bit hit hot, but it's fine. We're gonna go precision strike and we can fire. Do this. Let's go. He's exposed. Commander. I think. You wanna go for him? Yeah, it should be a kill. Got it. Enough being fired at him. And lag. Ammo got destroyed. That's not a kill. That's a critical hit. How is that not a kill? Standing by. Damn you. You're gonna go there. Heading out. That's gonna be too close to you. You're gonna get straight fired, so we're just gonna go here. I'm going to drop entirely Inferno on him. We get some crits on this guy or some extra damage on this guy as well, thankfully. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Here Looks come like the enemy enemies. Yeah, you ain't got much left. And you're burning. Still doing good damage to me, though. Damn it. 
easy on the armor, buddy. I'm receiving you. Okay, if I go there, I think it makes Location sure confirmed. that I don't stray fire myself, basically. And fire. Broke a few things and got him hot. Scored a critical hit. Oh, they're going for the building, finally. They're not going for me, so that's good. I like that. Receiving you. I think I might just stand and shoot here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multi-target A, B, B gets that, and fire! Firing! Yeah, I think I hit a leg, sadly. That took out some weapon systems. That hit something good. And we do have enemies. 70 ton mech. No assault mechs yet though. Not one assault mech. Heavy mech. No sweat. I got this. We'll see what these guys are. That's a 50 tonner. That would be a 90 tonner. Shooting me in the butt. Nothing I can't handle. Receiving you. Doyle. Yeah, start pushing this way. Position confirmed. We're gonna go. Guided. Roger. Hopefully, we get some crits on both of these guys. Okay, we didn't get anything on this guy, but he's gone. Hostile removed. Waiting for orders. And. Okay, we're gonna go there. Moving to position. This is a little bit overkill. Mm, yeah, fine. Firing everything I've got. I want to make sure that he goes down. That didn't look too bad. Maybe turning the uh, MRM10 off would have saved a little bit of ammo, but it's fine. So it's just the bushwhacker and then the new target. 70, 50, and 50. Is that it? Good to go. Okay. Yeah, we'll go there. Two evasion and a flank attack. Precision strike. To the face. I very rarely actually get the face. But that's down. Make destroy. That is an entire bushwhacker. Now there's no assault mechs. Where are my assault mechs, people? I was lied to. Unless there's some coming in on the other side. Ready for orders. Roger. So what do we got? We got a guillotine. Yeah, it's going like that. That's fine. We'll set the forest on fire so they've got no cover. Give them a little bit of heat. Spread the damage out a little bit. And they can have some fun. Yeah, go stand in the flames. That's brilliant. We might lose this tower. Might. Good to go. Seven invasion on an assault mech is insane. No, we'll save the Vigilance. Save the Resolve. Yeah, they've had no reason to do anything but go to the building at the moment. So, let's change that. That's an Enforcer 3. Was running a Gauss Rifle. Not anymore. Firing a full salvo. A Gauss Rifle that works. Still going, they are. Yes, Commander. 
On the move. Full speed. Could put some damage on this guy. Why not? Scrambles his sensors. Sets more of the forest on fire. That's against the wall. Well, you go for that wall. Yeah, now they're going for me. for me. Cool. So far, without any assault max, this isn't really a threat. Not gonna lie. I would prefer it if it was a challenge, but can't have it all the time. Moving fast. Centurion. Go for this guy, because we tagged him a minute ago. Which means we get a slightly better hit chance on him. We'll go for the center torso. We can do this! Let's go! Let's just get the kill. Move. I think we might get all the kills before the end of the mission. At this rate. Standing by. And yeah, you can just stand still. We're gonna go there. Yeah, we're gonna use up some of that. Damn it, we're overheating. I don't want to overheat. That was a stupid idea, wasn't it? Okay, we'll drop that. Engaging with target. Yeah, it sets everything on fire. Causes them some problems. But overall, doesn't do much. Did I do this fire? I think I did. That wasn't very clever. Well, we don't go for any flames like so. Burn. That's actually pretty good. We still get a bit hot though. I think we're going to be okay. Yeah. Roger that. We've only got one thing that explodes anyway, so. We're not overheating. We're good. Where's my assault mechs? Maybe they turn up in a turn or two. Mm, who knows? Yes, boss. No, we're not gonna. We're gonna move. And get a clear line of sight. It's not too bad. Go okay, precision strike. And go center torso. Let's get fired up. There, Only one thing in. hits. Oh, Gauss rifle hit, but it didn't make a difference. Enemy down. That is another full mech on the board. A Centurion this time, though. That is a Bushwhacker. Second one of the day. I'm showing minor damage. That's the X2 variant. Waiting for orders. I think standing and shooting is a good decision here. We opened him up. Didn't do anything to it, really. Took out the PPC. Critical hit, Commander. You're, uh, you're a 70 tonner. I was gonna say. Receiving you. I thought you might be scarier than you actually were. You go for you. Might as well. On you're it. already hot, so this will hurt you quite nicely, hopefully. I don't think it's going to make too much difference, because I think you're going to get cooked in a second, or destroyed in other ways. But that's a miss. It doesn't do anything, it doesn't die, this is not fun. Just fire. Got it. There goes the right arm. And... Critical hit, Commander. He's still standing. This is fine. Yeah, we we have this Ready in the bag me. quite easily so far. I'm gonna go there and 
Turn those off. Fight. Yeah, I'm gonna kick. Rolling. I'm gonna kick so we can use the flamers. Ah! He is unsteady. Flamers. I actually got a head hit on him. Look at that. Solid connection on that one. <laughs> nice. He's ready for orders. Um, you're too close. You go. Like you're gonna be firing too close. I don't want to do damage to myself. Take out the bushwhacker. Boom. That's One salvageable part. Three salvageable parts. Not too bad. Standing by. And. On it. Yeah, let's do that. I don't want to get friendly fire, as I said. Shut down, panicked, and. Yes, Commander. Anyone for a headshot? Wasn't the head. That was. That was a headshot. Hope There's another assault mech on the battlefield. Shame they are not assault mechs. But that is it. Mission successful. Very successful. Three full mechs that can be salvaged. I'm going to take the bushwhacker. I think there's a Gauss rifle. I might take that, but it ain't gonna. It's not nothing special, really. Uh, well, we got the X1, X2. So what's the difference? X2, ER large laser. It removes the ER large laser and replaces it with additional LRM5. Pair of medium laser, medium pulse lasers, and it drops one heatsink. This one is. You know what? There ain't that much difference. Gorilla prototype. I'm just going to take the X1. Or do I just take two parts of. the X2 and see what it comes with. Wow, yeah, standard. That's the problem. The loot is just garbage, always. You don't get any good sensor stuff. You don't get any of the double heat sinks on the loot table, set of the double heat sink kits. You very rarely get um, ferro fibers. All of the good stuff you get from the loot caches. And that's the only reason to do things. I mean, the planetary war stuff is the best way of getting things then. And after this one, I think there is one that we're going to go do. It's just going to see what we get from this one first. See how long, how many missions there are. I think there can't be many more. It's a short campaign, so really it should be one or two. Uh, we're up against the Black Widow's company, Natasha's Kerensky's hand-picked killers and survives. They were not the best, let's just face it. And we just pissed off her. We'll see her again at some point. I think we do face her. And we can potentially take her mech. We don't get any money from any of this, but that's not a problem. Uh, we get a bull shark. We get a full bull shark, 95 ton bull shark. Exchanger, we get an X-75 hand. Uh, Perseus lower arm thingy and an X-55 hand. So pretty good stuff. I mean, all of this stuff never appears on loot tables. And bull shark, it's rare. He's got ultra fives. Ha ha ha, I'm gonna go take a look at that. that mech you wanted Let's take a look at the bull shark. That is another assault mech. Just another assault mech. I think it's time to get rid of a few mechs. <laughs> Got a few. What is this guy coming with? He's coming with um, LBX-10, two Ultra 5s, case, large late, oh my god. Standard engine, 20% walk distance. I'm thinking we drop this. We drop the lasers, drop the case, uh, the ammo can go in the legs, uh, 
285 engine cores, not too bad. We then max the armor for now. We put an XL engine in here. It's um, we're gonna need some money in a second. Why have we got some? Oh, because we bought some stuff. That's right. That's why we don't have much. And then we go and put. Oh no, I used them up, didn't I? The ultra. Ooh, we could just do ultra fives, ultra two builds. Do we have? We have stealth armor. Requires ECM, but it has endo steel. Hardened armor? No. Too much. So, another ballistic mech. Or. Four Gauss rifles. Two Ultra Fives, two Gauss Rifles. Too heavy. Which way? Nine tons. Fifteen tons. We don't need those. Don't need the e cool in. It kind of works. Ammo is missing. That's 315 damage. Uh, 210. So 550. And then it's 70 per. So that's 140. But then we can put stuff like uh, Ballistic Evasion in here. Armored Cow goes there. We don't really need that. I mean, I could drop some armor down. I think double Gauss rifle is too much. I think Ultra 2 isn't exactly great. It's like 40 damage. AC 10s? Ultra 10s don't seem to exist in this. Could work. A 60 damage. I kind of wish we did have an Ultra 10. Double Ultra 10, double Ultra 2s would be pretty good. Or do we just go LBX? It's a little bit heavier. wouldn't give us much room for ammo. Doesn't actually have lower arms, does it? Just realised. So, maybe just sticking with ultras and then missiles to crit things out. I mean, what have we got? We got element 15. I mean, MRM 60 Ultra 5 builds. We're a little bit on the hot side, so we'd have to put that in. And then I think, well, yeah. Do we go four bins of that? So that's two, four. Six. That might work, actually. That might work. And then can I? Probably not. Uh, missile evasion. It's either ballistic evasion or missile evasion. I think I'd rather go um, ballistic evasion. And then if we drop... Five tons for other stuff. And that is going to be... A Guardian ECM, a Eagle Probe, and nothing else needed there. I don't think Case is really needed. Improved Jump Jets, anyone? Uh, 
the other way we could do this. Just take those off a second. Double XL engine gives us three extra tons. No, I think the XL engine is fine. Plus, that costs way too much. And needs the MRMs back. So we've got two more tons. Heat is okay ish. We don't have room for anything else, it seems. I have no support weapons. Two tons. Two tons. What do we put in for two tons? Heavy machine gun? They're one ton each. Um... I don't think there's much else I can put in, except maybe got a beagle probe. No, I'm thinking maybe just put some double heat sinks back in. Oh no, we've only got we've only literally got two slots left. So I think we then put ammo in. I don't have any more Ultra 5 ammo. Fine. Do I just put more? It's going to have to be. MRM and... MRM ammo. It means we can go crazy on the MRMs. Fine. That's going to be it. Log. It's Our not the best just about gone build in the world, but it's fine. We don't have much money. We don't have the financial report covered. But what we do have is a bunch of things that we can put together. That's a Remek. We have a Zeus that we can put together. Don't have the space for it, though. I have Grasshopper, Catapult C1. Oh, yes. Lots and lots of medium mechs I can put together. Just no room for them. This is the problem. So, go to the store and let's sell a few bits. I'm thinking you might go. Yeah, we're going to sell you. And I will keep. I'm going to get rid of the Enforcer. Uh, that gets us sorted for the moment. I will probably sell a few bits between videos. But at the moment, there's a lot of stuff. We have case. We don't need that. Case 2, that can go as well. Uh, basic hands are fine. Hardened. Slower arms. Yeah, I keep forgetting to use these. Bayam off tank, light shredder. All good stuff, just we don't use it. Alright, we've got engine cores. 180 can go. Uh, one of those can go. 250, 275 can stay. 280s. Two of those, they can go. E coolings, we'll keep those. Light engine, I think I'll sell one of those. Two basic exchanges. Yes, because we, we bought one, then we got one for free. Heat bank, heat sinks. I will get rid of the single heat sinks. Double heat sinks. We're up to 13 of those. And we've got two proto heat sinks, but nothing to do with them, basically. And we'll just sell a few of those. Improved small jump jets. We don't need all of those. 12 machine guns. 
Maybe we'll keep them and use, just have a spam build. We've got the financial report covered, which is good. We are now going to go jumping to another planet, because this is a one and a half skull pointless place to be. 26 days until that fight breaks out. 24 days until that one breaks out. I might just go for that, one of those. And we got all these flashpoints. But, 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 they're all standard ones, I think. Yeah, they're literally everything is, there's no special flashpoints as far as I can tell and have seen. So, where do we go? That's 13 days, just those two skull planets. I go there, 16 days, two and a half skull, 24 days until, so we have to wait 10 days basically. But that does mean that we get the extra space, the um, extra mech storage, so we can build a bunch of mechs whilst we're there, and just sell them for a billion things. Uh, red one goes faster, this is new. Uh, you get a ping from Slapdash and Farrar asking... I mean, there will be six days spare, but we can do it. Okay, so you get a ping from Slapdash and Farrar asking you to come down to engineering deck. Almost as soon as you step in off the lift, they start talking excitedly. Commander, we think we can get another half G out of the drives if we just... Fabric cobble, a scale up battle mech supercharger system, and reinforce the drive mountings and auxiliary cooling systems. They finish simultaneously. They hand you a design document with options for in insulation maintenance costs and the mitigation. As the most, as with most things, there's a right way and a cheap way. The right way costs a million C bills we just about have, but should be finished relatively quickly. The cheap way costs quarter as much, but Farrar will be eyeing it out the kinks in the new drive for a while. I'm going to go for that because uh, travel time has been adjusted. No, it hasn't. And we get 0.5G out of the drives. Uh, Slapjass has gained 60 days of high spirits. Morale has decreased by two. Why decreased? Because we're going faster? And let's, yeah, there's some reading to be done about lore. So it hasn't affected us on this jump, unfortunately, but, or did it? It might be, it might have improved, I don't know. But we're still getting to the planet before the financial report, and that is the important thing because when we get there, we'll be able to build a load of mechs and we'll be over the financial report and we won't have to worry about any of that stuff going on. And we'll have 24 battle mechs, we'll have six extra mech slots, basically. Which will be entertaining, to say the least. We're nearly broke, man. Yep, yep, I know. We'll be good, though. As long as nothing stupid happens. We'll be fine. And then I suppose it's all about getting the missions done. We're almost completely yeah, out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two days and we land. We've got to wait ten days, I think it will be, before the We've missions actually start. But that's not a problem. I think, can we select side straight away? Yes. Defend the planets. Attack or defend, basically. We need to choose, and I will choose, but do we have... No, we have to wait one day. That was lined up perfectly a second ago. It is fine. It is totally fine. 
what we shall do is check the store. There's no store. That's simple. And hiring hall. Giant. He is a vehicle pilot and he is looking like a giant person. Uh, one only needs to take a single glance at Giant to see why he got his call sign. The man is huge, but just as huge is his spirit and joviality. Amongst friends, he's known as the Gentle Giant because a smile is always on his face. However, his smile hides a dark past. He spent 15 years in jail. Tempted to hire him because he would be pretty cool looking, I'd say. Waiting for orders. Standing by. Yep, we're gonna hire the giants. New mech warriors available. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to command center. We're gonna choose our thing. I'm. Let's just take a look at this. Nah, there aren't many missions here that are worth doing. On this planet, who is... So, the planetary government has more forces. Therefore, if we face the compelling federations, we... We... We'll have to do more missions. What is our standing with the Capellans? Pretty good, I think. Let's take a look. Reasonable. I mean, we're excellent with the Free Worlds League. And there's only Comstar and the Pirates that really hate us, and these guys. Yeah. Do I? In local government, I could fight them. It'll take me a little bit longer, but you know what? We're going to do that. We're going to fight against the local government. Because it builds our reputation here, which is good. So, we're going to defend the planets. Start. Doesn't do anything now, but in time it will. And we're going to skip forward one day so we can build a bunch of mechs. Oh, launch mission. Hey, boss. Can I... No, I can't go back at all. Okay, so we're getting into a battle straight away. It's fine. We will sort the money and that out afterwards. But we do get to drop with... I was kind of hoping to get the um, thing in, the bull shark in this mission, but I guess not. How much drop tonnage do we actually get? 700 is our maximum. If I drop you, I can actually put the MA in. And then I've got three vehicle slots, but only one vehicle. It is fine. So you're all good. Then we need the Orion pilots, which is sketchy. No, that's the wrong one. We want the Orion R. Highlander, which is who's Highlander? I've forgotten. Marauder, Toad, Virago is the Royal Highlander. There we go. Yeti doesn't actually have a mech, so he's going to go in the Archer, and then the Black Knight doesn't have a pilot just yet. And I'm thinking it's Ranger. Because you're a melee mech build. Yeah. Kill. And we need one more pilot. Who's going in? Toad or Giant? I want Giant in. Why not? Let's give Giant the first mission. Uh, this should be relatively easy. It's a battle, three skull battle, and we're dropping uh, 700 tons or close to it. I think it's like 650 roundabouts. 
So yeah, we're going to be absolutely kicking their asses, but it does mean there's probably going to be multiple support lances as well. So be it. I don't care. I'm going to have some fun. And at the end of this, we get a loot cache. Well, let's see how many mechs we get out of it, if we get any out of it. Uh, da, 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 da. So, yeah, I think it's just a straight-up battle. It's just a simple case of how many support lances there is. Um, if they want to show military strength here, Muris, here in Muris, we can do that for them. Hell yeah! I mean, we got a battalion of mechs. One tank. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contact info. Okay, Reinforcements. They frosty. We have an hostile Centurion Dervish and a Centurion. We have their backs, but they have. Um. Yes, Commander. Stuff. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna reserve. Roger. We'll be okay. Standing by. They've got to move, or we're gonna shoot, be shooting them in the back. Why is that Royal Highlander so far out? Our Night Star took more damage than the Royal Highlander with stray fire. Careful! You don't want to scratch the paint. Okay, it's going to take them a moment to think about what they're doing, because they probably didn't expect us there. I think our AM, both our AMS is jammed, it seemed like. Okay, one more, and then we're going to be going. Cool, sounds good, looks good. Light damage, Commander. Let's have some fun, shall we? Waiting for orders. Oh yeah. All in air. By any chance, do we get a good hit chance? No. We get a good hit chance there. Better hit. We get a perfect hit chance there, I'd say. And that's what we're going for. He's fired his load, so let's just here it comes. Fire our load. Eh, not too bad. Now he joins the fights. I ain't scared of any of those guys just yet, but there is more. Let's see what that more is in a second. Ready for orders. Best thing is, they're all clustered together. Air effects. Sounds like a good option. What else we got? Smoke, guided, and acids. That's going to be air effects. We should really be using that after we've crit them a little bit, so we can try and get some. Oh, sorry, open them up so we can get some crits on them. But Waiting it's for all order. fine. There we go there. I think we'll go for the Centurion once again. Roger that. We got him. We didn't kill him though. Reporting critical hit. There is other stuff happening across I'm the battlefields. We don't care about that. I'm away. Double time. Oh yeah, we're gonna go for the dervish. Got it, commander. Just because. Well, there's a head hit. Just because we can scramble his sensors. The centurion is nearly dead. So someone will be able to take him out in a second. Aye aye. I think you would be better go for someone else as well. Let's go for the dervish. Firing all weapons. Because you should be able to take him out in one go or thereabouts. I mean, apart from the fact we got another head hit. Full sure. That was okay, I guess. He'll go there. And this is Sandblast SRM builds. Kinda wants to finish off the Centurion. Why is we up there? There we go. And then someone else can finish or get a knockdown on the Dervish, and we're looking good. Один прилёг. Кто следующий? Ну 
Yes, Commander. Virago can look at getting Roger that bet. finish. Because you've he's lost his evasion. This is gonna be fun. Firing on target. That is a knockdown. So that's one more wound. He's not Board actually bleeding out yet. So he is bleeding out now, but he's down to one wound left. So if we destroy a side sword, so he's gone. Let's see who we got left. We got standing by the mortar builds. That's how we get heading out. Him out of here. Go guided. Actually, let's go on you. We should still be able to get some. Got it. Uh, area of effect damage on that guy. I heard a boom. He's gone. There we go. That works. Waiting and then for glitch. Order. Well, can just about get to the front line. Look at this firing squad. That is. Well, that's scary. Yeah, just run away, dudes. Just go. It ain't worth it. Your spell's open. There's more where that came from. I really should go for five skull missions, shouldn't I? Because these missions are too easy. But I want to feel the power and all that of being amazing. Receiving you. And we're back round to the beginning. Fine. Move order received. I'm gonna go air effects again. Taking shot. I mean, we got eight crits. Inflicted some heavy damage. And we opened up the centurion as well, I think. No real threats. Commander? Uh, we're not going to get into punch in distant dis. Uh, ooh, target prediction. Let's go for that. That'll help out. Roger. Help out everyone, basically. Ooh, you had a lot. You did have a lot of rockets. Giving them everything I've got. Wasn't, that, wasn't both of the Centurions rocket mechs, rocket variants? I think it was. They're slowly getting into the fights. Missiles. Hell yeah. AMS. We want some more AMSs. But they just don't exist. Well, they're very rare, should we say. And a melee. That's 25 damage. Plus the missiles. No, he head hit himself. And he panicked himself. I mean, what else can I say? Full shot. That is a charge. I ain't going to charge that. We're going to go there. Принял, выдвигаюсь. And... Might as well go defensive formation. And fire. Yes, Paul is out. There goes some weapon systems. Solid cut. There goes the Myla. I mean, it's a full Ostol on the battlefield, so we can potentially take that and just salvage it. That would be a 70 tonner over there, though. Standing by. Maybe we'll want that instead. Moving to position. Let's finish this off over here. No. Reporting LBX critical is gone. Hit. So it's down to one la medium laser, I believe, and that's it. I'm here. Rolling. There and. Roger that. Fire! That is a lot of heat. Oh, I like that shot. Doesn't get the kill, though. Yes, Commander. You know what? We're going to go. We're going to sprint. So I want to get Roger. into the fight over there. We're not going to fire those because of stray fires into my back. Of 
whatever this is. Roger that. Hoping I get some crits. I don't. Oh, connection not really. On He's unsteady. Waiting on you, Commander. This seems like a bit of overkill if we fire everything. So, save some of that. Fire the ultra. Special delivery. I yeah, still they are broken arm off. But he will not go down. Receiving you. I think we're too close for the Sunder to fire, fire. so. Yeah, we're just gonna brace with you. Who is the last guy? Awaiting orders. Highlander. Confirmed. I think we'll save those. We'll fire the rest. Roger that. <laughs> the right torso gone. That's gonna. That's a knockdown. There was an injury resisted. Finally, it took the entire lance, but we got it done. So, back round to these guys, and I mean, the 70 tonner might be interesting. The rest, I don't think, is going to be all that much. Aye, aye. Can't see anything just yet. Yes, Go defensive formation with you. I think that's two defensive formations up and running. On it. Don't think they double stack, unfortunately. Слушай. And then the archer. Pedal, full, принято. No, not getting into this just yet. There's a lynx. What the hell is a lynx? 55 tonner, apparently. Commander. That's all I can tell you because I don't know any more than that. Well, let's go precision strike and take it out. We can do this! Let's go! And some solid connection. That's all we did. Commander. I don't think anyone else is really going to get Acknowledge. line of sight just yet. Make him unsteady. Maybe. No. Close. But no. Orders. There's some lines of sight. All in that. As a primitive Hector. Okay, and then a dervish again. That's an overheat. They scrambled him and made him unsteady. And it's all me now. Ready for all the oil. Let's get to the top of this and I think we just put acid on them because that'll be fun. Have that. It's only only these two that seem to get it unless we miss and affect someone else. No. What can I do for you? Glitch. Hey, glitch is Got fast it. enough to make it. Good. Fine, we'll go for you, see if we can take you out before you get another go. Nothing else, you're going to be on the ground in a second. Nice! I think that's just one salvage. Yeah, because we, we destroyed the engine rather than critting it. Awaiting orders. You're just a tad bit too slow. That's right, I need to take the jump jets out of you because they don't really work. But it's what else I put in there, that's the problem. I don't I think I've looked and it just doesn't have anything to put in there. Okay, nothing there. Yep. 
What is that? Sensor sweep. Uh, locks all enemies within 350 meters. Might sprint. Get some evasion. Roger that. And let's see if that's. No. Doesn't. Doesn't do anything. It's fine. We wouldn't have done much anyway. And who is next? I do like the fact that that one patch of grass is on fire where that engine. where the mech blew up. Although Ready the actual order. mech blowing up didn't cause that, but it makes it look like it did. Got it. Run, don't you shoot. Go there. Well, that's literally the best hit chance. Gonna go shield stance and fire. That's some exposure. Yeah, we've got like three melee mechs, but they don't get into melee because we kill too quickly. Oh, awesome. That was insane. And. Yes, Commander. We shall. No. Va. Sprint. We can go there, actually. So, we can... 43... Yeah, we go here. That's just the best hit chance, isn't it? We'll go Precision Strike. Come on, Up to 88% chance. And a random head hit. <laughs> Commander? It was actually sketchy I was using a second ago, but never mind. Over there, we actually Roger get a that. decent hit chance there. We do. Affirmative. It's not a kill, but there ain't much left Take of them. That. Literally got no armor left. Receiving you. You still haven't made it in. Don't know if you need to to finish this guy off. Knocking on target. No. Nope. He's gone. That's a kill. I mean, there's four salvage parts of him. Might be worth taking because he's probably worth a fair will bit. Be done. Even though he's primitive. Okay. What we're going to do is. We're just going to go there, cool oh, down, rattle. and go for a sensor lock on this guy Got a lot. for next turn for people. Well, for my big guys, Good actually. Go. Okay, we'll Moving out. go for the dervish. That's fine. Commencing alpha strike. There goes the arm. Hopefully they go with the neck. No, not quite. Another hit like that and you're toast. That is pretty much correct. One more hit and he will be gone. Got it. I think we... Go guided. On this guy, because we should be able to crit that side torso off. His evasion won't mean much when we're doing splash damage. There, there we go. <laughs> nice, easy enough. Hostile removed. And then there were one. Aye, aye. Oh, can you get in and get the final kill? No. You're just going to do nothing. Copy there's that. enough other people available to finish Good the job. And yeah, you didn't get into melee once, did you? 
I'm gonna go pursue this right to see we see if we can finish it now. Come on, net warriors! It's Push his in initiative back as well, which is good. In actual fact, we can probably keep him completely initiative initiatively locked down, so he never does anything. Got it. If he even survives. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, we didn't quite do it, but it's fine. He ain't got much to worry about. It's one mech, well, half a mech. I think I took about 16 damage. Losing armor. Yeah, we'll live. Standing by. And the grasshopper can get the finish. I'm walking here. Not that it's going to be very hard to do that. Engaging target. Both side torsos are open. Okay. Solid connection on that one. Well, we got plus one How's it going? hit chance from that, so the Point Night Star the gets a better hit chance now. Definitely with precision strike. Now we're going for the engine. We can do this. Let's go. Didn't quite get it. The missile, miss missiles will target eliminated. Achieve it all for us. Mission successful. Uh, relatively easy. No, well, yeah, we were out. We outnumbered the enemy by one tank, but we were dropping assault mechs, and they didn't have anything bigger than a seventy-ton of primitive mech. So all in all, I think overkill is basically what I'm saying. Can we? We can't take anything and build it. Is there any weapon systems that are worth taking? The answer is no. So how much are you worth? 2.7 million per piece. Fine, we'll see if we get a full mech. We get a Centurion, a Dervish, a Dervish, a Lynx parts, Ostol, and only three parts of that. So we do get a 200 rated engine core. Ferrofibus. Um, ten bins of that, and okay, well, there we go. Anyway, that will do it for today. It's been a long video, and we've got a few more missions to go on the planetary war. But after that, we will go see what else we're going to do. I'm thinking we just go straight in for a five skull mission at that point, because I don't think I'm worried about anything that can be thrown at us apart from if it's two or three super heavies at once. But we'll see. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you. Sh the, I shall see you next time for the conclusion of this planetary war.